Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm AST. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I typically deploy my Angular front-end applications to Netlify. I will cover what I used to do in version 16 and prior, and I will show you what I'm doing now in version 17. It's just a minor difference. So if you're interested, keep on watching the video. So I do have my account open up here on Netlify and I have my sites. So I'm just going to go to the sites and I'm going to be adding a new one. But before I do that, I do use a GitHub repo for my Netlify website. So I'm opening this one, which I recently created. I have it open up in my local machine already. The first thing that I want to do when I'm preparing for deployment to Netlify is I do want to add um, Netlify dot file in my root directory so it is important that it's over here so I'm gonna copy the contents that I have from another project I actually have deployed so many projects so I have the contents and I'm just copying it just to have it in the file but I'm gonna go back to it and make a tiny adjustment over here to make it work with angular version 17 because right now this is what I used to put in angular version 16 and prior basically this is handling um, this thing that is happening on Netlify where you have SPA and you're refreshing sometimes it may show you page not found but I'm handling this with the redirects portion. Now the base directory, this has to be matching my current directory for the current project. Obviously that's from another project. But yeah, I'm going to match it to this one. And then I do need my command, which is over here. I'm adding it here in my package.json. The next thing that I like to do is to go into my git ignore and I'm going to remove the dist. I want it to be included in my git repo because Netlify is going to be connecting to my git repo. So if my dist folder is not in my git repo, then Netlify has nothing to display. So I'm going to remove the dist folder from the git ignore file. Another thing that I need to do is in the angular.json where I have the dist folder so I mean there are options here I can either have a subfolder but I actually don't like to do that I want to keep it just as a this folder now so far if I was working with angular version 16 or prior everything would have been fine just like that and I wouldn't need to do any changes so if you're working with angular version 16 or prior that's it. That's all you need to do in terms of changing the files and preparing the project. But in the case of Angular version 17, once I build the project, there is going to be two folders. There is going to be a browser folder and a server folder because Angular version 17 supports server-side rendering. And if I wanted to deploy in a different way, I could do it through uh, using the server build file. Now, in this case, I'm going to be doing it the regular way through the client side, so through the browser. So I'm going to add browser subfolder over here and once the app is built i'm gonna show you what i mean now right now there is no dist folder in git it doesn't exist it's not there because i haven't built the app yet what i need to do is i need to build the app first and then i'm gonna push the changes and only after that i will link it to netlify and so now to build the app what i do is npm run build which is my command from over here to build the app for production and that should create my this folder in a moment okay and now I have my this folder as you can see inside the this folder there is a browser folder there can be a server folder but I just didn't activate this option when I was creating this application at this point. So now let's see if everything is over here ready to be sent to git and to my remote repo which is what I'm gonna do now. Now let's have a look. Just double check I do have this and browser over here. I have this and browser. So with all of that I'm just gonna commit my changes and push them to git. Build and preparing for Netlify deployment. Push. Now, what I would like to do is to actually verify that I do have the disk folder and the contents of the disk folder over here. We 
have browser and um, that's what I need. Now with that done, with having the Netlify file, with having the changes to package.json with my build script and angular.json, um, let's make sure that it's this folder. So everything looks fine over here. I do actually have my build application over here. Now I'm ready to move on to Netlify and add a new site. So I have the options here and I'm going to import from an existing project and deploy with GitHub. I am authorized, so that should be fine. And now, what was it, users? Let's see. I just need to find and select my repo over here, which is this one. And it is private right now. Okay, Br uh, branch to deploy. I just need to verify I am on the main branch. I actually have only one branch, but if you have multiple branches, it is always best to make sure that it is the right one. Base directory, this is what it's going to take from the netlify.toml file. The build command is also taken from the netlify.toml file publish directory, everything, everything that you see here loaded is already coming from the settings in the netlify.toml file, which I already pushed to git. So it is finding it, it is recognizing it. And all I need to do now is deploy. Here it is starting the deploy and I can have a look at what's going on. If I want to look at the details. Okay, it is finding my repo and all the things that are happening over here. Build command from netlify.tomo. It is finding the things and it shows as complete, deploying complete. So what I'm going to do here in site overview, I do get some like um, random domain, which I'm going to be adjusting. And there it is. I do have my users and my local site. It's exactly the same. So we have localhost, which is running. It is not the same image of the person because I am connecting to this human doesn't exist, you know, that website that is generating an AI image. So I have just attached the same one for every user, but basically you can see there are my different users and they are the same ones. They're actually coming from my REST API which I'm connecting to in the app. But yeah, I have it deployed right now. And if I refresh, actually, it's going to be a different person every time. This site is definitely not ready, but I'm just like basically loading the users. And I do want to have it on Netlify because it makes it easier for me. Now, the only thing that I want to do now is actually want to change this. And let's see what I can get. If I can get something that is um, a bit nicer just try the thing that I always do. I'm just gonna use the name of the repo. That is actually easier for me for reference and things like that. User is my REST API, Netlify. That should be okay. I don't think that someone else would have taken that. The whole purpose of this website is just to give a sample display of the response that I get from the API that I created. So for that purpose, I think it's perfectly fine. And now I can add the link over here, but I do have to work on like making this website a little bit better. There are a few more changes that I want to do, but for the time being, it is deployed on Netlify and it works and it's fine. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.